Good afternoon once again. So let's check the frequency response of this five element Yagi designed for two meters VHF amateur operations, usable from 142 megahertz to 148 megahertz. The center frequency is 145 megahertz. Before I ship it to Mr. Machu Savare, going to Cebu City. So this is now connected to the my vector impedance analyzer, but. First, let's quickly check the antenna pin point. The elements are marked, so you just need to put back those elements according to the numbering and the orientation of the numbers. So make sure that you tighten the nut on the SO239 connector attached with the gamma match. And to tune the antenna, you just need to put back the tuning stub in between those marking tapes. These are these two are two are plastic spacers. You just need to secure it with cable tie to make the gamma match is more stable once uh, you installed it on your mast. So first. We will check the antenna frequency response on my vector impedance analyzer and quickly check it with the SX400 SWR meter. So this is now connected to the vector impedance analyzer going to the feed line and to the vector impedance analyzer. So for the individual frequency response as we can see on 145 megahertz we have 1.09 or 1 is to 1 1.1 is to 1 SWR so let's check going down 144 is 1.3 143 is 1.4 142 is 1.5 and 141 is 1.7 so let's go up 146 is 1.4, 147 is 1.5, 148 is 1.6, 149 is 1.8. So let's quickly check the DSWR card. As we can see here, we have the lowest frequency is 145. On the indicator, the SWR, we have 1.091, 1 1.1 SWR. So let's quickly check the S11 carb. Or antenna reflection coefficient. S11 is about 27.21 dB. On 145 lowest on as we can see we have still not the center center frequency is actually 145.1 at 28.32 dB S11 so let's check the VSWR carb again as we can see here we have 1.08 <clears throat> so let's check the impedance is 53.89 ohms resistive load is 50 ohms so let's quickly, quickly check this with my SWR meter so I'll be turning off the antenna the camera first I have now connected the antenna going to the radio and BSWR SWR meter SX400 so let's quickly check the 
SWR and power out. Just check this WR for from 142 to 148. So center is 145. Our impedance vector impedance analyzer is showing 1.09 or 1 is to 1, 1.1 1 is to 1 VSWR. So we are at 75 watts. So let's calibrate. So we have successfully calibrated the BSWR in this switch to SWR function and press PTT. As we can see here, we have 1.1 SWR. Let's quickly check 1 for 2. Let's recalibrate. So we have 1 for 2, switch to SWR mode, so we have 1.4 or 1.5 is to 1 SWR on 1 for 2, let's check 1 for 4. So let's recalibrate. have successfully calibrated this so let's move to SWR position and press PTT as we can see we have 1.2 let's quickly check 148 let's recalibrate So let's move to, we have successfully calibrated, so let's move to SWR position and press PTT. As we can see, we have 1.7 SWR or 1.8. Let's quickly check 1.46. So let's recalibrate. So we need to adjust it to zero position or infinity. The maximum reflection. Okay, let's switch to SWR mode. As we can see on 146, it, it's about 1.4 or 1.5 SWR as well. On 146. So let's look to 145 and check the power out. So press PTT and recalibrate. So we have recalibrated it. Move to SWR position. We have 1.1. So let's check the power. So as we can see here, we have 70 watts output power so let's quickly check 145 100 for the exact center frequency but first let's check the reflected so reflected is about 1 watt or no it's not 1 watt it's about on 200 watt settings yeah it's 1 watt so 145 100 on the Sub center so let's recalibrate and move the switch to forward power so press PTT calibrate So we have full deflection, switch to SWR mode, still 1.1, let's check the power forward, forward power is about, as we can see it actually increased to 
75 watts about 75 watts as we can see it's not exact <clears throat> 75 on the first uh, deflection going to yeah it's stable in 75 70 watts so let's check the reflected power still about now it's about point uh, five watts not actually exact to one watt so thank you for watching and this antenna is now ready to ship to Cebu City.